G'day and welcome to New South Wales DPI Online. Well, uh, harvest is just about finished for the 2011 season. It's uh, been a tough, a tough year yet again. Um, a lot of the areas further east of us here are, are certainly got a bit to go with some rain, but uh, we're lucky to have finished out in the west. But um, underneath the, the golden wave of, um, of stubble is again a, an issue called fleabane, a weed called fleabane. We've been doing some work on it and uh, some good research, so we'll just give you a bit of an idea of what we've found and um, what it means to you. Fleabane is a weed that usually germinates in late winter and early spring. It looks similar to many other weeds germinating at this time, but is distinguished by its hairy oval cotyledons and dull green colour. Last year a huge amount of fleabane germinated in crops and due to the wet and delayed harvest a lot of seed was set, providing a large seed bank for this year's crops. To make things worse, any areas of crops that were eaten by mice at establishment have allowed the fleabane to become well established by harvest time. The end result is quite large plants that will need controlling by either herbicides or cultivation directly after harvest. Research in the Woody Efficiency Project has shown that fleabane will not only use valuable soil moisture, but it will also rob the soil of valuable nutrients and in our trials has caused up to 60% reduced yield in subsequent crops. So the main question farmers and advisors are asking is what herbicides will best control fleabane in fallows? Remember that there are limited options registered for controlling fleabane in fallows, so be aware that many of the herbicides mentioned in this video, whilst registered for use in fallows, are not actually registered for fleabane control and therefore are not recommended. In Western New South Wales, we have now done a lot of trial work looking at various herbicide options for fallow spraying. One particular trial this year at Melbourgen, northwest of Rankin Springs, sums up many other trial outcomes. This trial compared a number of herbicide mixes as a single pass as well as with a double knock where we applied a second herbicide 10 days after the first application. There's some really interesting take home messages that you may find interesting. Firstly, Roundup will not adequately control fleabane. As you can see from the pictures, 1.2 litres and 2 litres of Roundup CT has done little to these fleabane plants. The best herbicides applied in this trial include Roundup plus 2,4-D amine 2,4-D LV esticide and Tordon 75-D. Adding Ally to any of these mixes strengthens the control further, but at best all of these treatments only gave between 90 and 97% control. This is not good enough as surviving plants are able to reshoot and grow vigorously. Roundup and Lontral was also providing uh, a bit above 90% control, however it was very slow acting and could possibly need a little bit more time to work completely. The second thing we got out of the trial was that the addition of an oil being 0.5% uptake spray oil slightly increased efficacy when compared to 0.3% LI700. This trend is supported in many other trials. It's important to note however that oils may reduce the efficacy of Roundup on some grass weeds, so care must be taken when using oils in grassy fallows. Thirdly, the importance of double knock was critical to achieve 100% control. We compared two rates each of Gramoxone, Spray Seed and Alliance. In general, all of these products work as a double knock at both high and low rates where the first pass was at least 90% successful. Where we had less success with the first pass, such as with Roundup alone, the higher rates of double knock gave much better control than the lower rates. When comparing products in this trial, we found Alliance was a standout, and interestingly, Gramoxone gave slightly better control than Spray Seed. This has been repeated in previous year's trials. When doing a double knock, it is important to achieve the best coverage possible using water rates greater than 80 litres per hectare, spraying in the opposite direction to your first pass, and spraying at the beginning of the night will all help you achieve the best possible double knock result. As a bonus, you also sometimes pick up some late germinating weeds such as melons on your second pass. For interest's sake in our trial, we also had a look at two new products, Roundup Attack and Sharpen, and uh, from what we saw in this trial, it looks fantastic, and hopefully these products will be registered in February this year. So understandingly you are tired from just hopping off the header and spraying a paddock once is bad enough but results from many trials across New South Wales really highlight the need to use a double knock if fleabane is to be controlled with herbicides. Whilst there are alternatives such as cultivating, remember the benefits of a no-till farming system and importantly if the season turns wet you may find yourself sitting on a cultivator all summer rather than eating your Christmas roast turkey if you start cultivating now. Further information on these controls can be obtained from your local district agronomist with New South Wales DPI.